Listen and practice. Exercise one. Richard is a businessman. He works from nine o'clock to five thirty every day. He always wears a suit and tie for work. He usually has lunch at his desk at one o'clock. He arrives home at about seven o'clock every evening, and he reads to his children before they go to bed. He often feels very tired at the end of the day. Richard is a businessman. Richard is a businessman. He works from nine o'clock to five thirty every day. He works from nine o'clock to five thirty every day. He always wears a suit and tie for work. He always wears a suit and tie for work. He usually has lunch at his desk at one o'clock. He usually has lunch at his desk at one o'clock. He arrives home at about seven o'clock every evening. He arrives home at about seven o'clock every evening. And he reads to his children before they go to bed. And he reads to his children before they go to bed. He often feels very tired at the end of the day. He often feels very tired at the end of the day. Listen and practice. Exercise one. Richard is a businessman. He works from nine o'clock. To five thirty every day, he always wears a suit and tie for work. He usually has lunch at his desk at one o'clock. He arrives home at about seven o'clock every evening, and he reads to his children before they go to bed. He often feels very tired at the end of the day. Listen and practice. Exercise one. Richard is a businessman. He works from nine o'clock to five thirty every day. He always wears a suit and tie for work. He usually has lunch at his desk at one o'clock. He arrives home at about seven o'clock every evening, and he reads to his children before they go to bed. He often feels very tired at the end of the day.
Listen and practice. Exercise 2. Pamela is a doctor. She's Canadian, but now she lives in a small town near Nairobi, Kenya, in East Africa. She isn't an ordinary doctor. She's a flying doctor. Every day from 8 a.m. to 10 a.m., she speaks to people on her radio. Then she flies to help them. She works 16 hours a day non-stop, but she loves her job. She isn't married. She has no free time. Pamela is a doctor. Pamela is a doctor. She's Canadian. She's Canadian. But now she lives in a small town near Nairobi, Kenya, in East Africa. But now she lives in a small town near Nairobi, Kenya, in East Africa. She isn't an ordinary doctor. She isn't an ordinary doctor. She's a flying doctor. She's a flying doctor. Every day from 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. Every day from 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. She speaks to people on her radio. She speaks to people on her radio. Then she flies to help them. Then she flies to help them. She works 16 hours a day non-stop. She works 16 hours a day non-stop. But she loves her job. But she loves her job. She isn't married. She isn't married. She has no free time. She has no free time. Listen and practice. Exercise 2. Pamela is a doctor. She's Canadian, but now she lives in a small town near Nairobi, Kenya, in East Africa. She isn't an ordinary doctor. She's a flying doctor. Every day from 8 a.m. to 10 a.m., she speaks to people on her radio. Then she flies to help them. She works 16 hours a day non-stop, but she loves her job. She isn't married. She has no free time. Listen and practice. Exercise 2. Pamela is a doctor. She's Canadian, but now she lives in a small town near Nairobi, Kenya, in East Africa. She isn't an ordinary doctor. She's a flying doctor. Every day from 8 a.m. to 10 a.m., she speaks to people on her radio. Then she flies to help them. 
She works 16 hours a day, nonstop, but she loves her job. She isn't married. She has no free time. Listen and practice. Exercise 3. Istvan is a music professor. He comes from Budapest in Hungary, but now he lives in the United States. He works four days a week at the University of Texas, Austin. He speaks three languages, Hungarian, English, and German. He's married to an American and has a daughter. He likes playing tennis in his free time. Istvan is a music professor. Istvan is a music professor. He comes from Budapest in Hungary. He comes from Budapest in Hungary. But now he lives in the United States. But now he lives in the United States. He works four days a week at the University of Texas, Austin. He works four days a week at the University of Texas, Austin. He speaks three languages, Hungarian, English and German. He speaks three languages, Hungarian, English, and German. He's married to an American and has a daughter. He's married to an American and has a daughter. He likes playing tennis in his free time. He likes playing tennis in his free time. Listen and practice. Exercise 3. Istvan is a music professor. He comes from Budapest in Hungary, but now he lives in the United States. He works four days a week at the University of Texas, Austin. He speaks three languages, Hungarian, English, and German. He's married to an American and has a daughter. He likes playing tennis in his free time. Listen and practice. Exercise 3. Istvan is a music professor. He comes from Budapest in Hungary, but now he lives in the United States. He works four days a week at the University of Texas, Austin. He speaks three languages, Hungarian, English, and German. He's married to an American and has a daughter. He likes playing tennis in his free time. <laughs> 